Hi, it's good to be back with you on the Facebook question of the week. Thanks for your questions. Keep them coming. Um, it's that exciting time of year when children are going back to school. And we've had a lot of questions about how to talk to my teacher about adoption in our family or foster care. And in fact, Lori Nagley sent a very specific question. How can I educate my adoptive uh, children's school on how to properly address the needs that they have? So let's talk about that for a second. Um, you know what? It can cause a lot of stress for parents, for children, and sometimes for the teachers um, to make sure that they honor and respect the individuality and the uniqueness of all children in their classroom. And we know uh, children and families uh, are uh, great diverse uh, situations these days from single parents to adoptive parents to foster parents to same-sex parents to step parents, um, divorced parents. It's not easy for teachers, I think, sometimes to make sure that they're responsive to all the needs of children in their classroom. So I think one of the best things you can do is uh, get with your teacher ahead of time before school starts and talk about your children's unique situation. Uh, let them know that they're adopted uh, or that they're in foster care. Uh, and talk about things like class exercises and terminology. Those are the two areas where a child will feel singled out in school if the teacher is not keenly aware of the circumstance. For example, frequently um, when a teacher does find out or when anybody finds out that a child's been adopted, they might say something like, oh, how lucky you are or how lucky your parents are. Well, the reality is we don't say that to biological children. It's not a matter of lucky. It's just a matter of a wonderful family circumstance. So we need to make sure that educators are keenly aware of the language that they use in the classroom and the exercises that they do. Um, very often uh, there are exercises like let's build a family tree or bring in a picture of you as an infant. Um, those kind of exercises that a, a teacher may not be aware of can be challenging or difficult or stressful for a foster care child or for an adoptive child if they don't have a picture of themselves as an infant or if their family tree is fairly complicated. So talk with your teacher about exercises that offer flexibility so that a family tree exercise could be let's make a chart of all of the important people in your life or um, asking children to bring pictures of themselves as an infant could turn into bring a picture of yourself um, at, when you were a child or even draw a picture of yourself as a child. It's a small change but it's an important one for children that are confronted with um, circumstances that they, they don't quite either understand or don't maybe feel like explaining on their own. You're your best advocate for your child and need to be that with the educators. If you go online, there's a wealth of resources. That's the good news. And one of the best that we found is through Adoptive Families Magazine, adoptivefamilies.org. And in, uh, in that magazine, you'll find all kinds of inserts and one-page um, companions to talking to your teacher about adoption. Um, what's the terminology to use? Even sample memos or letters to your teacher that uh, spell out frequently asked questions about how do I handle these circumstances in my classroom. So don't forget, you're your best advocate for your child. There are all kinds of resources available to you to handle what can be a stressful situation in school but doesn't have to be. Um, feel free to go online at DaveThomasFoundation.org and we can get you connected to these resources. Call us at 800-ASK-DTFA and just know that um, on Honoring the unique situation of your family in the classroom and in the community is something that we want to help support. Keep your questions coming. Thanks a lot.